How you doing? Welcome to this next video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, how to conquer your fears of being left out when you stop drinking alcohol. I think this is definitely one of the the biggest fears that people have. Uh, it certainly was one of mine. I mean, I was sort of fortunate at the beginning because we moved to Spain uh, a year before I stopped drinking. So I left a lot of my long-term drinking buddies in Ireland. Um, and that was a, a challenge in and of itself, don't get me wrong. But by the time we got over to Spain then, it's, you know, you, you, I just didn't have the time. You know, when you get older, I think you just, it takes a lot longer for you to, to, to become friends. And I didn't really want to get more drinking buddies. You know, I had my, my family are over here. So there's a lot of different reasons why, why I didn't, that didn't happen. I think it was going to, it was starting to happen because I found a, a, a pub in Guadamar in Spain which was um, a Celtic bar, so that was run by this Scottish guy called Tog, who's uh, since died from um, uh, liver disease, I think. Um, but anyway, I was going into this bar at the time. It was, I think it was the last bar that I drank in as a, uh, um, with my son. So anyway, getting on from that. So there's a lot of stuff in terms of fear of missing out, why people want to miss out. You have to look at where we are. This is Guadamar, it's a really nice day, but it's still a bit windy and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk in a minute and have a nice meditation. Fear, fear is just a natural change. It's a natural companion of change, if you like. It's no matter what happens, I think there's always a fear of the unknown. There's always a fear that you don't know what's gonna happen around the corner. Um, and oftentimes people don't know what they're, what they're afraid of. You know, so I think one of the first things is just to really sit down and think about it. Think about what it, what exactly is it that you're afraid of, of happening in your life. Um, you know, people have this sort of uh, an obtruse fear of uh, missing out on something, and it's missing out on the things that they they would normally do. And it's it's a it's a thing that comes naturally. It's a characteristic of, I think, all drinkers, even drinkers who drink at home and don't drink socially have a fear of missing out on um, the relaxation the whatever it is the stress relief that they get so you have to think about this that the the best antidote to fear is action it's taking action and getting in there and doing the things that you're afraid of doing right of stopping drinking alcohol and allowing that process to develop as you're moving forwards um you control the fear uh, the fear is not a real thing outside of yourself it's all within your head so and that's the place where you can control these things so you have to sort of reframe those fears understand that this is happening in your head and therefore the only place you understand no you have to understand that the only place that you can control the fear is in your head and through your own thoughts right so if you when i'm talking about reframing i'm talking about the the fear um the the emotion of fear and I think sometimes it, you need that emotion of fear to get you moving, to get you traveling along, to get you um, on that journey. For me, there's two types of fear. There's the fear that is stopping you from doing the things that you want to do, right? That there's the fear of the unknown, the fear that, that is saying to you, no, I can't do this, or the fear that is saying, I'm gonna get it wrong, I'm gonna make a fool out of myself, or I'm missing out on things. And then there's the fear that is driving you to do those things. So that type of fear is the fear of the unknown thing that's going to happen to you if you don't stop, right? So the, the health issues that you can have, the relationship issues that you'll have, the financial issues that you have. I mean, for me, it's about looking forward and trying to, trying to imagine from both perspectives. Well, we've got this thing called the, the Dickens Two Paths, Two Journeys, and it's Basically, you're, you're imagining the, the ghost of the Christmas future coming and he's taking you on a journey five years into the future. And you're going five years into the future when you do stop drinking and the five years into the future if you don't stop drinking. There's an awful lot more to it than that, but that's just the basics of it. And if you can do that, and if you can see yourself, see um, the extremes that you could happen to you, um, or the not so extremes. I mean, if you can see sort of, this is this is what's going to happen to me if I don't stop drinking alcohol from a health perspective, or this is one of the possibilities. Then it's it's very much more easy. It's it's much more. It's easier to see that your fear is driving you from behind, 
uh, that the fear is, is saying to you, look, if you don't do this now, this is going to happen to you. You know, so from my perspective, it's don't be worried about the, the, the being fearful of the things that you're going to do, of the change that's going to happen. Be more fearful of the things that you're not going to do if you don't change, right? So fear of the unknown, fear of... Um, a lot of that fear of the unknown is, is not the fear of the unknown, it's the fear of your own toxic narrative. It's the stories that you're telling yourself. You know, telling yourself, well, you know, you're going to be missing out on these things or telling yourself, what am I going to do if, if, uh, if, I'm, if I can't have a drink anymore? You know, and catastrophizing all these things in your own mind. And that's the problem. So it's, your attitude is going to change with experience, right? Your attitude is going to change with your experience of not drinking alcohol. Your attitude will change with your expectations. Um, your attitude will change with experience, right, of just living that day by day by day by day. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. So just think along the, the, the lines of fear is in your head. The, the only thing that is really stopping a lot of people from making these moves in their life and from uh, achieving, not only stopping drinking alcohol, but achieving or getting towards that best possible version of yourself is the fear in your head. And just, I mean, break it down. What is it that you're afraid of? As I said, it's the toxic stories that you're telling yourself about your fear. You know, a lot of people, if if you can turn the negative around to the positive and say, well, you know, this is, these are the possibilities for me in a positive sense. Um, this is the opportunities or these are the opportunities that are going to open up for me in a positive sense. Then it becomes a lot easier to deal with the fear. Uh, you know, sometimes it's just, um, have the fear and do it anyway. Um, one of the things that we've got is our quick start preparation guide. And that's, you know, if you're starting out in this journey from uh, the beginning, if you're if you're just heading out from the, the, the start, then please do take this this course because it helps you to, um, to get clarity on where you're going. It gives you a bit of self-confidence in yourself that you can do this and the courage to step across that line and start doing it. If you haven't done it and you're already a few weeks into this, you can take it now and it'll help you uh, going into uh, the second month or the third month. You know? So uh, the link is down below for that. And if you want some step-by-step, -step more systematic help, uh, just click on the link up here. It's www.habitsv2.com. Um, I'll speak to you in the next video. All right, take care of yourself. Onwards and upwards. Bye now.